There's a new ask here in Colorado whenever we're outside, especially in a little bit more of a public place. I have to wear a mask, but masks are hard to come by. Um, so, my daughter has made me this mask. Today I have a big truck and a small trailer. The truck is a new 2020 Ford F-250 heavy-duty truck with a giant gas V8 engine under the hood. And the trailer is around 5,000 pounds carrying a Polaris Razor Pro XP. And in this video, I'm gonna put this truck on our short city fuel efficiency loop and compare it directly against the exact same test I did recently in a Jeep Mojave Gladiator truck. Why do this? Why compare a heavy duty truck against a midsize? Well, it's because a lot of your questions are coming in and you guys are asking us which truck is best for you. So the Mojave truck was matched pretty well to this trailer, but today I have too much truck. Let's see how it does. Under the hood here is the brand new engine that Ford is introducing in 2020. It's a 7.3 liter V8 gas engine. It's nicknamed Godzilla. They say it's basically a big block, lots of displacement, and the rating is 430 horsepower and 475 pound-feet of torque. And this is a heavy duty truck and it has a heavy duty transmission. It's a 10 speed in this case. Once again, an all new transmission and it has every gadget known to man as far as towing is concerned. That right there is a steering shaft that's coming from inside the cab from the driver position and it's the new overlay system. It's an electric overlay that helps and works in conjunction with the hydraulic steering pump. Here, when you look from the outside, you can see this aluminum brace by the front driver's side wheel, and it's actually holding this new overlay system, the new steering system on the Super Duty trucks for 2020. It's supposed to help with steering, uh, varying degrees of assist, and it's an electric overlay that also enables hands-free trailer parking using their Trailer Pro Backup Assist system. And that right there is still the hydraulic steering pump. So this truck has plenty of power to actually turn the big wheels, but also has the, that electric assist right before it. We have been using Gen Y hitches for several years, and in a heavy-duty truck like this with a large two and a half inch receiver for heavy towing. This is the right hitch because it's also adjustable and it has a torsion capability. There are two torsion axles right here and it helps to cushion the load as the trailer is moving. But Gen Y has a selection of hitches anywhere from smaller two inch receivers all the way to two and a half height adjustable and torsion flex capable. Check out Gen Y Hitch using the link below in the description. The trailer I'm using today is the same. It's an 18-foot North Star Iron Bowl and it has a payload capacity of around 11,000 pounds. But today I'm hauling the brand new 2020 Polaris Razor Pro XP 4-seater, which weighs around 2,000 pounds. The trailer by itself weighs around 3,000, so altogether it's about 5,000 pound load. And the weight is distributed pretty properly with about 10% tongue weight on this one. And guys, if you want to see more about this Razor Pro XP, you could also head over to the TFL Afro channel where we have a couple of reviews of it. And of course, Steven Elmer is doing a lot more over there, having fun in the mud and of course in the snow as well. We equipped this long-term test trailer with Prodigy remote trailer brake uh, controller, but I'm not using it today because of course a heavy duty truck like this, the F-250 has built-in trailer brake controller and still a seven pin connector. The trailer brake controller is right here on the dash by the right knee of the driver. You play an emergency trailer brake activation. And this is um, to adjust your gain, basically how much power is going to the brakes. 
normally with a heavy duty truck like this and a trailer that's been broken in, basically burnished brakes, I'm running at around 5.0 gain. These days manufacturers are making it very easy for us to know exactly how capable the truck is. For example, this 2.5 inch hitch on the F-250 is labeled at 15,200 pounds maximum capability. But I know from the uh, spec sheets that the truck is capable of 14,700 pounds and I found it using the towing guide that Ford provides. Uh, yes, there's that chin spoiler in the front. It's meant for fuel efficiency, a little bit more aerodynamics. For 2020, the F-250 is also sitting about an inch lower than it has before. So overall, they're trying to make this truck a little bit more efficient, even with a giant gas V8. This truck is all stock, but we did update the uh, exhaust system. So the sound you're hearing is an aftermarket performance muffler and one of the three resonators removed. So it's a little bit deeper, a tiny bit more loud, but not obnoxious by any means. Uh, we recently got a great question at our alias, ask at tfltruck.com. And the question was, um, do I have to use tow haul mode when towing? So basically the usual answer is yes. This particular owner had a heavy duty ram truck and was towing about 1500 pounds. So I would say yes, if you're doing city driving, stop and go, or mountainous driving, for sure. Um, it basically changes the way that the transmission behaves, changes the shift patterns, helps you slow down. With a heavy load, that's very important. You're saving your brakes. But also, if you're towing very, very light weight, and you're not stopping, let's say you're going down the highway from here to Albuquerque, 500 miles. Do you need tow haul mode with that much load? Usually not, because at higher speeds, the transmission is really is acting the same way. I'm doing about 25 mile run today, so it's not our usual highway run, it's more of a city loop. Of course, I'm filming by myself. We are uh, practicing social distancing and trying to be very careful, very precise. All right, let's get some fuel and do the loop. So what are some of the benefits of having a heavy duty truck versus a midsize? Well, first of all, curb weight on this truck is around 7,000 pounds. Curb weight of that Mojave 4x4 Gladiator is around 5,000. So this truck by itself is already about a ton, one ton heavier. Why do you need that? Well, you need it for a heavier trailer. This truck is rated, like I said, up to 14,700. It has a 355 rear axle ratio. Remember that Jeep had a 410. But this is the basically the lowest rear axle ratio you can get an F-250 truck. Running around empty with no load, I've seen around 12 and a half to 13 miles per gallon in this truck. But this truck has tripled the amount of payload of that Jeep. 3,000 pounds here, about 1,000 pounds there, and more than double towing capacity. So if you are moving heavier trailers, this is definitely the platform for you. Today I'm not moving a heavy trailer. Pretty. Uh, low slung razor behind me. So that's why I'm doing this video to figure out how a heavy duty truck handles. The number to beat is about 12 miles per gallon. That's the number I got in the Jeep. It's possible, it's possible because this engine is not really working hard. 3,000 pounds of total payload capacity. I have about 500 pounds on the tongue, on the hitch. Um, the truck barely squatted. I, I haven't noticed much squat. And actually it feels about the same as an empty truck as far as ride quality. So right now, if I didn't look in the rear view mirror, I wouldn't know that I'm towing a 5,000 pound trailer behind me. So how much does this truck cost? Well, the truck you see right here retailed for about $55,000. We purchased it uh, at the very end of 2019 as our project truck for this coming year. It's a quite uh, well-optioned XLT, although it does not have 
a sunroof, but it does have a few options. Yes, 55 grand for an XLT four-wheel drive Super Duty is a little bit steep because it's also not a trimmer off-road truck. It does have an FX4 package, rear locker, of course, four low, skid plates, all-terrain tires, all that stuff. And of course, $2,000 is that 7.3 liter Godzilla gas V8 engine. It is a $2,000 option over the base. It's a little bit different from that Jeep Mojave because the Mojave was near its towing capacity with this trailer. The small 3.6 liter gas V6 in that Jeep felt like it was working hard. It was kind of noisy, it was revving really high. This V8 is just lumps along at what, 1500 RPM, 2000 RPM, it that doesn't care. Let's get to the pump and see how close I can get to that Jeep on fuel efficiency on this same exact loop. Right now the trip meter is showing 10 miles per gallon, approximately. Okay, let's try this. 24 miles, divide by 2.457. Equals 9.8. So the computer was pretty much dead on in this truck. I'm pretty impressed with the trip meter, but this is also quite a bit less than what the Jeep got. So there you have it. This big giant got 9.8 miles per gallon with a 5,000 pound trailer. Um, that doesn't uh, appear to be very impressive, but it was just a such a smooth and effortless experience otherwise. So it comes down to this. If you are only towing 5,000 pounds, then a mid-sized truck like the Jeep Gladiator would work just fine. Yes, it's uh, straining just a little bit more, but it's more manageable, it's smaller, it's more fuel efficient. Uh, if you do want to have the capability of towing a lot more, maybe double or triple the weight than a heavy duty truck, is the answer and if you're towing all the time a heavy-duty truck with a diesel is the answer and guys go back to tfltruck.com for my news views and real-world truck reviews like this